She still looks good. <laughs> on, this, uh, on this question, they're asking us to determine if the function is even or odd. Remember, we have our two tests. You just plug in f and negative x. If you get f and x out, it's even. You plug in f and negative x, and you get negative f of x, it's going to be odd. So therefore, when I look at this function f of t, or on t, I'm using f of t now. So remember, t is just my value, so I'm just now going to change this over to using your x's. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> t squared plus 2t minus 3. So to go and test if it's even or odd, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in an f of negative t. Thank you. Yep, no problem. So therefore, we have negative t squared plus 2 times negative t minus 3. And I like to put them around parentheses just to remind myself and to remind my teacher, whoever I'm going <coughs> to work, that I'm plugging in that value in for those variables. So obviously, we know any negative number squared, that's going to be positive. Negative, two, negative t times 2 is now going to become a negative 2t. And then we'll have minus 3. So I'm going to take this around. And now I'm going to look at this. So I'm going to say, all right, is this the same as my original function? And I look, and no, it's not. Now, is this the same of my, the negative of my function? Well, one way to help you out is if you factor out a negative sign, you can go and get that. So let's factor out a negative 1. So when I factor out a negative 1, I'm left with a negative t squared plus 2t plus 3. So now it's negative you know, of my function. And when I look at this, that's still not negative f of x because this is not my f of x. Does everybody see that? So it's positive. So it's, I mean, so it's going to be positive. Well, it's not even because it's not the same as my original function. And it's not odd because it's not, when I factor out a negative 1, it's not um, a negative 1 factored out with my function inside of it. So therefore, this is even. So it has to be all positive or all negative? Not necessarily positive or negative. It either has to be, this is your original function. So when you plug in a negative x or a negative variable, you have to get back your original function. Yes? What this says is this says a negative or the opposite of your function, right? So really what you're doing is if this is f of x, an odd function when you plug in negative x is going to be the opposite pretty much of your function. So I mean, you have to distribute a negative 1. So what I did was when I plugged in a negative 1, we got this answer, right? You obviously understand that, well, I hope you, you see that this and these are not the same. That's a negative, that's a positive, they're, so they're not equal. However, to go and determine, all right, well, what about if I, if I factored out a negative 1, would then I have my f of x function? So that's what I did. I factored out a negative 1. So when you factor out a negative 1 out of here, you now have a negative t squared. You factor out a negative 1 from here, now you have a positive 2t. And you take a negative 1 away from a negative 3, you have a positive 3. Does that make sense? So when you factor out that negative 1, do I have f of x and, or your original function? And no, we don't, because now it's a negative two t, and now it's a plus or a minus three. Does that make sense? Does that make so sense? It's so it's neither. Yeah, it's either going to be either one of those two, or it's going to be neither. And those are all your possible possibilities. All right. Okay.